Hi friends, welcome to Naraisha Technologies. Welcome to the second session on permutations and combinations. Now, let us start by taking a small problem. In a party, each person has to exchange a handshake with the other person only once. If the total number of handshakes exchanged in the party is 300, then find the number of persons in the party. Now, this particular problem can be solved in two different ways. First, we can solve this particular problem without using the concept of permutations and combinations in a simple way. Second, we can solve this particular problem by using the concept of permutations and combinations. Now, let us look into both the methods. First, let us look into the method how to solve this particular problem without using the concept of permutations and combinations. Now, if I take a small example, if suppose there are 50 persons in a party, first person will exchange handshakes with all the other persons except himself. That means, first person has to exchange handshakes with 49 persons. Now, when it comes to the second person, second person will be exchanging handshakes with 48 persons except himself and the first person with all the other persons because already he has exchanged handshake with the first person. So, first person will exchange handshakes with 49, second person 48, third person 47 and so on. The last person, last person need not exchange any handshake because every person goes and give handshake to that person. Last but one person will exchange handshake with the last person that is 1. Using this simple logic, we can answer this particular question. If I assume there are n persons in a party, the first person has to exchange handshakes with n minus 1 persons except himself. Second person will exchange handshakes with n minus 2 persons, third person n minus 3 and so on till last but one person, one handshake, last person 0, so we need not write. Before this one, obviously it should be 2 and before this 2, it should be 3 and so on. So, these are the number of handshakes. According to the question, he is saying this total number of handshakes exchange is equal to 300. That is n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 and so on till 1 it should be equal to 300. Now, if I write this expression in the reverse order, it should be 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus and so on till n minus 1 and this value should be equal to 300. Now, what is the formula for sigma n? Now, what do you mean by sigma n? Sum of first n natural numbers. So, sigma n should be equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, this is a formula sigma n that is sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2, but in our expression we have sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers that is instead of n we have to write n minus 1. So, this value should be equal to n minus 1 instead of n we substitute n minus 1. So, n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 get cancelled that is n by 2 should be equal to 300. Now, solving this you multiply n square minus n is equal to 600. Now, either you can use the concept of uh, factorization or using we, our common sense, we can answer this particular question. Now, how to answer this question without factorizing? Now, what is this n square? Obviously, this n square should be a perfect square because n is number of persons in the party. So, n square should be a perfect square and it should be greater than 600. Now, what is the nearest perfect square greater than 600? Which is, it is 625. 625 is 25 square. So, 25 square minus 25, 625 minus 25, so 600. 
So, the value of n should be 25. So, there are 25 persons in the party. Now, let us try to answer the same question by using the concept of permutations and combinations. Now, let us look into the alternate method of solving this particular problem by using this concept. Now, the question says in a party each person has to exchange a handshake with the other person only once. Now, to exchange a handshake definitely there should be two persons and if I say there are n persons in a party, the number of ways in which we can select two people at a time should give us the total number of handshakes. Now, if there are n persons in a party, in how many ways can we select two people at a time? Obviously, it should be n c 2. The number of selections that is the number of ways we can select two people at a time should give us the number of handshakes that is n c 2 value should be equal to 300. Now, how do we write n c 2? n c 2 is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial which is equal to 300 n square minus n equal to 2 factorial is 2, 2 into 300 is 600. Now, using the same logic we can answer this question n square is a perfect square greater than 600. So, the nearest perfect square greater than 600 is 625 which is 25 square minus 25 600. So, the value of n is 25. So, the number of persons in the party is 25. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.